We all know it's just a matter of time before Lamar Jackson gets his bread. It's never been a question of if he'll get paid, but it's always been a win and how much. And ever since Lamar Jackson has been eligible for a contract extension, we've seen other quarterbacks get theirs, like a Josh Allen, like a Derek Carr. We saw Aaron Rodgers get one. And then more recently, because with quarterback contracts, it's all about what has been done Lately, and more recently, the one that completely just changed the game was Deshaun Watson. And then the Cardinals were like, hold up, Deshaun Watson, you may have changed the game, but you know what? We're going to change it too, but just not the way that you did it. Because we know uh, Deshaun Watson, he got his 230 mil fully guaranteed deal for five years. But Kyler Murray, um, he did sign a five-year contract extension with the Cardinals, um, but only 160 mil of it was guaranteed. So it was about 70 mil less. But apparently, apparently, the Ravens offered Lamar Jackson more money than Kyler Murray. Let's talk about it. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. Now that football season is here, stuff is crazier than ever. I am more busy and bombarded with stuff than I've ever been before. Now, while I'm definitely not complaining, that does make it harder for me to hit some of my personal goals. And like I've told a lot of y'all, I got a one pack right now that I'm trying to slowly transform into a two, then a four pack. But in order to do that, I gotta eat right. So I teamed up with Factor so they could help me out. But what is Factor? Factor helps make meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. They have a team of gourmet chefs that create each and every meal only using ingredients that have integrity to help you feel your best all day long. Cause when it comes to fitness, you can work out all you want to, but it really starts with food. In fact, it actually makes it possible for you to achieve your daily goals through nutritious, purposeful eating. They offer keto meals, calorie smart meals, chef choice and vegan and veggie options that include seafood, meat, and plant-based meals, so it's something for everybody. And with Factor, there's no preparation and no mess. They cut out the whole part when it comes to stressful meal planning and extensive prepping, so meals literally come together in minutes. And that takes all the guesswork out of what to make for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They make it so easy for you. Their meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes. So let's see how it works. One of the first things I noticed and appreciated when I got my Factor box was the fact that they have an ice pack sitting on top and in the middle of your food. Y'all know I'm in South Florida and it gets hot. So if this didn't have the ice packs, then this food would have cooked on its own inside the box. And we don't want that. Now, I was a little bit indecisive over which package I wanted to get, so I just went with Chef's Choice so I could have a variety of everything. It came with six meals and a smoothie variety pack. The meals I received were ranch baked pork chop, big dill chicken, honey butter diced chicken, fiery beef and black bean chili, bruschetta shrimp risotto, and roasted garlic braised beef. And I figured, you know what, I'm down here with all this heat, so let's try the fiery beef and black bean chili first. Like we said before, they take all the guests work out of it for you because they have the instructions on the back of each meal and if you're microwaving it literally every meal you put it on high for two minutes and if you want it a little bit hotter you can just throw it in there for an additional 30 seconds Ooh, with that cilantro this meal ain't nothing but miami this is really good it ended up being even better than i thought it would now a two minute meal is nice but what's even nicer and even more convenient is a smoothie in fact they sent out six smoothies three tropical fruit ones and three strawberry bananas so you know what i'll try some of both Oh yeah, that strawberry banana is hidden. Oh, but that tropical fruit, oh, that's just as good. I think I might have to tell my wife, hey, babe, you can take a little break from cooking because Factor might be my new go-to for lunch and dinner for a little while since we always on the go. But wait, how can you get your own shipment of Factor? Well, head to go.factor75.com slash engraven130 and use code engraven130 to get $130 off across six boxes. Again, that's go.factor75.com slash engraven130 engraven 130 and use my code engraven 130 to get $130 off across six 
boxes. You cannot go wrong with that. Don't say I ain't tried to hook you up. YouTube team, keep it clean. Before we get into this, I gotta give a special shout out to the newest team, keep it clean patrons, Zayil, Jakeon, Debbie, and TJ. I appreciate y'all a lot for showing extra support to the channel. If anybody would like to become a team, keep it clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash vids. But if you don't want to, trust me, it is A-OK. -okay. Don't worry about it. And Lamar Jackson may have told the Ravens that same exact phrase during contract negotiations. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry about it. If they did come to him with a deal that just wasn't sitting right. But you know what? Let's hear exactly what this article had to say. And it was from Mike Florio on Pro Football Talk. He said the 2019 MVP could, if he wants, make more money than the number one overall pick in the 2019 draft. Oh, I, I like the little wordplay right there. I, I wonder if Mike Florio uh, used to do battle rap. Anyway, it says Jay Glazer of Fox Sports reported during Sunday night's Ravens Cardinals pregame show that Baltimore has offered quarterback Lamar Jackson more money than the Cardinals have agreed to pay quarterback Kyler Murray. Uh, now, um, if that is the case, I mean, it, it should be the case. It certainly should be the case. Uh, based off of accomplishments alone, um, it should definitely because Kyler Murray's deal should be the floor, the absolute floor. It, it may even be the basement. So the fact that they said that, that should be no surprise to anybody whatsoever. But let's continue. It says, Jay Glazer adds that the five-year fully guaranteed contract given by the Browns to Deshaun Watson complicates matters. Oh, you think so, huh? Of course. Why wouldn't it? If you see... A quarterback who hasn't played in the longest, a quarterback who got a lot of outside stuff for football that was going on, they get paid a, a five-year, $230 million, all guaranteed, fully guaranteed. You got to be looking at that like, oh, hold up. I've been playing. I, I ain't got no outside stuff going on. And I know Deshaun Watson, when he did play, hey, he was a good quarterback. He did his thing. I mean, with the Texans, it didn't really result in winning. But, hey, nonetheless, he, he, he was still doing his thing over there. And the Texans, they paid him. And then the whole, you, you know the rest of the story. We don't need to get into it. But Lamar Jackson had to be looking at that like, ooh, 230, all guaranteed. And he, oh, yeah. We should start talking there. But let's continue with the article. It says Murray has a new money average on a five-year extension of $46.1 million. So he's getting $46.1 million per year. But Murray is signed for seven years in all. Ah, so it was an extension, but they it's seven years total because it's an extension. It wasn't a new contract. So they just extended his current contract. Uh, it says Watson's deal pays out $46 million per year. Over five years. So Watson's deal per year is less than Kyler Murray's per year. But all of it, is, which is fully guaranteed. So, yeah, Kyler Murray got the highest average per year. Well, between him and Watson. But Kyler Murray got 160 mil guaranteed. Watson got 230 mil guaranteed. 70 more million dollars in guaranteed money. That is insane. But it says to get Jackson to 46.2 mil per year on a five year new money deal, they need to sign him to a six year, $254 million contract. Since he's due to make 23.16 mil this season. So, yeah, on his fifth year option, Lamar Jackson making a little over 23 mil. If he signed an extension, it would be just that an extension. So he will still be playing this year under the fifth year option, but then he would be extended beyond that. So whatever new years, they would just be added to his current one year deal that he's on right now. Uh, it says Glazer also called it an uphill battle to get a deal done, given that Jackson represents himself. I mean, yeah, I, in, in negotiations. And, and I really don't think that was even really necessary to include in the article. Because in contract negotiations, in any type of negotiations, but if we're going to speak specifically about contract negotiations, of course it's an uphill battle. That's, that's whether somebody has an agent or not.
because you're negotiating, you're going back and forth. You offering, hey, this is what we want to sign you to. And the person is looking like, hey, well, I'll take that. Or, no, I don't want that. You need to do better. And they'll have counter offers and whatnot. It's a back and forth thing. So, of course, it's an uphill battle, but that ain't got nothing to do with whether there's an agent there or not. It's going to be an uphill battle either way. But anyway, continuing, he says the battle ends soon. Jackson has said he wants a new deal before the regular season begins. In two weeks, the Ravens will begin intensive preparations for their week one game against the Jets. So um, it's also been rumored that Lamar wants a fully guaranteed deal. And you know what? If that is the case, if that rumor is true, I wouldn't blame him at all. Why not? Why not? You, hey, the NFL, you got to try to get your money, get your bread, because you never know what could happen, and you, you want to collect. Like, these owners and stuff, oh, they, they make billions of dollars off of you. So, you getting millions of dollars from them should be no issue. Should be no issue, especially... If you're one of their main players in the game um, with Lamar Jackson. Uh, yeah, that deadline is certainly coming up. It's coming up quick, fast and in a hurry. Uh, this offseason has flown by. It, it has flown by like crazy. So what you think a little two, three weeks is till the regular season starts? Oh, that, that's nothing. That is nothing, my friend. The regular season is literally right around the corner. So for the Ravens and for Lamar Jackson. If they can get this thing done before then, great, phenomenal. Because if Lamar, and, and Lamar has been a man of his word throughout his, the entirety of his career. So I would expect him to stay true to that. Like, hey, I, I want to get it done by week one. And if it's not done by week one, then it'll be cut off. We ain't going to talk no more. So if he says that, then it's time. Like Ravens, gotta, they got to step it up. They really got to step up their game because if it gets to week one and this thing is not done, all right, cool. But you really got to hope that after the season, or whenever those contract talks resumed, you really got to hope you get it done because with the franchise tag, you don't want to do it, man. The franchise tag can make things very, very nasty, very, very nasty. And you don't want to go down that road. We're tagging them, and yeah, with the tag, oh, it's fully guaranteed, but that's only fully guaranteed for one year. Yeah, it's a nice little quick lump sum, but it's only for one year. Players want contract extensions. They want that those, those long-term contracts, not just the, oh, one year, because that's essentially, even though the money is a lot different, but a franchise tag is essentially a, a, a high-price prove-it deal. What, what does Lamar Jackson need to prove to the Ravens? What does he need to show them? If you let it get to the franchise tag, that's showing that, hey, he ain't showing you enough. And you just, you couldn't come up with terms that show like, hey, this is our guy. This is our play. This is the one right here. And then even from Lamar Jackson's side, hey, don't settle. Don't settle. Know your worth. Know your worth. Know what this team does with you know everything you do for the team but also know how they've done without you too it's important to look at both both sides of that when you're trying to really determine what your worth is and again it comes down to it now last year the numbers weren't pretty even though he didn't even play the whole season the the numbers weren't what was it, 16 touchdowns or 13 interceptions that's an ugly ratio it's a disgusting ratio there was even one game where that one one game with those was there was one game with four interceptions against the Browns, so that that number definitely got boosted up. But hey, those were the numbers, and that's fine. But you look at last season and just really throughout his entire career with the Ravens, look at the wins with Lamar Jackson, look at the losses with Lamar Jackson, but then look at the wins and losses without. It's not even comparable. It's not. It it, it really isn't. And for everything that he's been asked to do. And he still, he still got some stuff that he definitely needs to work on for sure. 
So I'm not saying that Lamar Jackson is is blameless or faultless in, in just anything that's transpired with the Ravens as far as on the field play. Because he got his stuff that he got to improve on too, for sure. But as far as his value to the Ravens, oof, it's through the roof. It's through the roof because he has brought value to the Ravens. He's made them an even more valuable franchise. So it's time that the Ravens show him exactly how much he's appreciated. It, and you got to come right. You, you got to come right. Because if you don't, hey, no, I'm straight. Nope. No thanks. And one of the biggest reasons, and I know I've, I've heard all the talk. I, I heard it, Mike Florio and Chris Sims, they mentioned it. Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless, they mentioned it too. They talked about how feelings can be involved with Lamar Jackson and the Ravens because he doesn't have an agent. Because with the Ravens, since he doesn't have an agent, they got to speak directly to him. They got to speak directly to his camp, directly to his people since he doesn't have an agent. And they talked about how, hey, the Ravens could be like, hey, you, oh, you feel like you're worth this much? Well, we only feel like you're worth that much. And while, yeah, feelings could be involved in that, but at the same time, Lamar Jackson, he's not stupid. He knows it's a business. Miss Felicia, she is not stupid. She knows it's a business. His whole camp, they are not stupid. They know it's a business. And the Ravens, they are not stupid. They know it's a business. So, yeah, feelings may be involved from both sides. Because Lamar has continuously expressed, hey, he loves the Ravens. Loves Harbaugh, loves the Costa, loves love the team, loves the organization. But at the same time, you know that he is about his bread. And the Ravens, on their side, they continue to express, hey, we love Lamar Jackson. <laughs> yeah, I would think they would. But they are also a business, and they are about their bread too. So both sides, there's going to be some, some tug and pull from both sides to get this thing done. But the clock is ticking, so it's time to make it happen. So if this is true that the Ravens offered more uh, to Lamar Jackson than Kyler Murray got, okay, cool. But if that don't make them budge, the price is going to keep going up. And this is something that we've been saying from jump. Every single game that he plays... Every single week that passes, every single day that passes, this price continues to go up. Ravens, could, they could mess around and be like, all right, you know what? No, we're done negotiating. We're we just going to do the franchise tag thing. We're going to do the franchise tag. Then we negotiate a little bit. But if we can't come up to a deal, then we, we'll just put you on the franchise tag again. You'll play that on the franchise tag. But you do that, the price keeps going up. It would be very wise for the Ravens to nip this thing in the bud as soon as possible and of course it takes two because Lamar would obviously have to agree to it but it's important that they nip this thing in the bud now because again hey you, <laughs> you, you having trouble negotiating now imagine when that price goes even higher now with Lamar and with the Ravens while his price will continue to go up so will the salary cap the cap is going to continue to increase and cap ain't going down it ain't going down again no, 2020 is suffered and whatnot, and this has been a recovery process, but hey, it's back. And it's bigger and better than ever, and it will continue to get bigger and better than ever. So yeah, a quarterback contract, very expensive, but you can manage it. You can do it. And just because you pay a quarterback, it does not mean, oh, hey, we can't do anything else. We can't make any more moves. That's false. That is false. But we'll see what happens. Time is a ticking. Week one is literally right around the corner. So whether the, the Lamar gonna budge or the Ravens gonna budge, somebody will if, if they really want to make this thing happen. And when that budging happens, hmm, wow, that dude is going to have a lot. I mean, he already got, but he is going to have made a lot of money. Yeah, this feels like a dream.